Happy New Year, Libra. Welcome to your room scope uh, for 2014. Instead of uh, just an overview for January, I am uh, gonna take a look at the whole year. I'm gonna do the first six months using the Major Arcana from the Tarot and then uh, the runes for the second half of the year so we can get a balanced overview of what may be going on for you in 2014. As always, be sure to watch the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you an idea of what may be going on in other areas of your life, other themes that you will be dealing with this year in addition to this general sun sign spread. Or you can schedule a private consultation with me. I do those on Skype and it's $65 for a half hour reading. Just drop me a line at the email address below this video if you want to set up an appointment. And actually the new year can be a very good time to get a reading because we all you know, are making resolutions, setting goals, um, so it can be a good time to see maybe what are the most achievable goals, reachable goals, and what may need to wait a little bit or what might be delayed a little bit. So just draw me a line if you would like to do that. Also wanted to mention that I do have my Thor Pez dispenser here with me. If you're wondering what that is, it's just to kind of lend his energy. After all, we are using runes. So um, I thought maybe he could lend his help to uh, the readings that I'm giving here today. So let's take a look from January through June, Libra, what you may be dealing with. It looks like a lot of you, uh, the, your focus for the first six months may be on your power and how you use it, um, or in some cases, how you give it away. Um, are, are some of you you know, are you, have you passed by an opportunity even though you felt intuitively drawn to it? Have you passed by an opportunity um, either in your personal life or your professional life? Um, just because maybe you questioned your intuition. Um, you know, are you not letting that idea in? Are you opposed to the idea of intuition even when it could be an asset for you? Um, are you overly judgmental of other people? and use your power in that way, kind of cutting people down, or are they overly judgmental of you? Are you finding people um, are intimidated by you or um, you know, use their judgmental ways to kind of cut you down to size in some way? So it seems like somehow this will be an issue for you the first six months of 2014 that you're just dealing with. And you may find that it crops up in different ways throughout the first six months of the year, but um, it'll be something that you notice keeps happening or your attention keeps being called uh, called to that. Some of you, in, in just a very specific way, may be dealing with um, legal issues, going through divorce, going through um, uh, issues w involving a, a manipulative uh, woman. Um, and, and having to t take legal recourse for that. Uh, that's a very, uh, that's a very literal way that that can work. So, um, you know, that may be taking up some of your focus the first six months of the year. But what I do see uh, as far as help for you, Libra, is that I think the negative aspects of this issue are, are by the end of the year gonna be gone. Um, and they're gonna be removed. And in some cases, you, you are going to have a hand in removing them, and in other cases, they may be removed of, out of your control. And, and you may not understand or agree with or be happy about the way some, some, uh, some of these issues are, are kind of removed from your life or the way some of your old patterns are kind of removed from your life. I mean, it may just be somebody comes out and says, you know, hey, you're really judgmental or hey, that hurt my feelings or, you know, um, do you have to be so harsh? <laughs> or you may say that to somebody else who's being harsh with you. Again, it's, it, this can work either way. Um, but one way or another, I, I, this year, that's this, these um, patterns are going to be removed from your life. And it's gonna be so much easier if you remove them on your own rather than, rather than waiting for the uh, powers that be to kind of strip you of them or um, you know, strip you of people uh, who don't deserve you, who um, who are just tearing you down all the time. If you if you don't take the initiative to remove them from your life, then it's possible that they may be painfully stripped away. So I mean, it's going to be easier if you just recognize what's what's happening and and remove them of your own accord, rather than waiting and maybe waiting too long, letting people like that remain in your life 
for too long. And because that can really take a toll on your self esteem and how you feel about yourself, um, how you relate to other people who maybe aren't bad people. You may just be expecting more of the same because we do get to a point where we expect from people what we've been given by most of the people we've had in our life. And you could find that you are judging people based on kind of the crappy past people that have been in your life or the people that you need to get rid of, remove from your life in 2014. I also see you removing yourself from though a difficult situation or a um, freeing yourself from bondage in some way, Libra. So if you're in a job that you hate, if you're in a living situation that's not working out, a relationship that you're just fed up with, I see you finding a very innovative, creative, hopeful way to get out of this situation um, within the first six months of 2014. So um, yeah, it's a very untraditional, creative solution to a problem. And, and Libra, that is so you. <laughs> to, you know, you're always thinking outside the box and you're gonna find a very innovative, creative way to kind of get out of this negative situation and move on to something better, more creative, more hopeful, more um, genuine, uh, you know? So whether this be a business situation, a job situation, a relationship, whatever this is, you're definitely moving on to um, greater vistas. Um, some of you may know what, what this is you're moving on to, and that's you know why you're kind of leaving. Libra, you're awfully smart, so I don't think you'll probably leave Especially if this is a job situation. I doubt you'll leave a job situation if you don't have another one lined up. So, um, yeah, I think I think that you will. And if you've been unemployed, if you've been waiting to trying to find work, I mean, I see you um, very hopeful from from January through June, and and that paying off. You you finding a very um, a, a very creative and. Uh, job that will make you happy. It's like on the job you will be happy. It's a good environment. Whereas before, maybe you haven't worked in a place like that before. So um, yeah, a lot of good stuff happening along with this kind of, again, this theme of how you use your power, how other people um, project their power onto you or try to use their power against you or to get you to do things they want you to do. That's a recurring theme that I think will keep coming up all year, but um, especially this first six months of 2014, but it'll pop up here and there. It won't be like a constant thing. It'll just be kind of a uh, something you will notice as you go through the year. What can't be changed January through June, Libra, is that there's a, a total change coming to your world. And I mean, a lot is in flux for you. So whatever your world looks like at December of 2013, by June of 2014, it's gonna be completely different. Like you will be looking at it from, and you know, it, it could just be that you're looking at it from an entirely new perspective. It could just be that your perspective changes, that your um, perception changes. Uh, of the way things are going. Maybe you just decide, you know what, this is actually a positive thing. This, um, you know, this person leaving my life who's been abusing their power, using their power over me. Um, leaving this job where they abused their power and, and um, lorded it over me. <laughs> you know, um, being laid off, fired from that job I hated was actually a good thing. So it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like you'll see uh, things in a new positive way. Um, in other cases, though, you, you really will be in a whole new world as far as, you know, your environment, your day-to-day -day activities. Um, it's a big transformation year for you, Libra, 2014. And, and, you know, you can't stop it. And a lot of the things I don't think you want to stop, but, you know, change can sometimes be difficult, especially if it's changes outside ourselves, changes that we have no control over. Um, those may be a little more difficult, but they're for the, they're for the better, even though if on the face of it, it's scary or daunting, or you don't see that the, see the benefits of it right away, that's coming. You'll see it before the end of the year. You'll see the benefits because we're still only in the first half of 2014 here. But yeah, towards the end, around Beltane, around May 1st, I'm getting very clearly May 1st. Um, for those of you who are single and looking, Libra, I think that uh, early summer, late spring, early summer can be a great time for you um, to uh, actually meet several people. 
that you might be interested in romantically. I think Libra, you know, you maybe you've been focusing so much on work. I don't know that a lot of you have been dating all that much if you're single. Um, those of you who are married even may have been working so hard you haven't seen much of your mate or maybe you haven't spent so much time together. Um, if you are coupled, I think that in the summertime, it will be a time for you guys to make some more time for yourselves. Maybe take a, take a trip, take a vacation. Uh, plan a getaway. If you don't take it in the first half of the year, I think that you'll plan like a couple's vacation the second half of 2014. And I think you really need to do that. Just reconnect. Um, if you guys can agree on where to go, I see that may be an issue. <laughs> or or when to go or, or something may be an issue. Um, Libra, if you start a new job, you may have to wait to take a vacation until, you, until your vacation time kind of kicks in. And that may be the problem I'm seeing here for some of you. Um, you start a new gig, it's, it can be a, you know, six months to a year before you can use your vacation time. So that may be an issue. But even if it's just for a weekend, definitely, if you're coupled up, take some time to, to take a weekend uh, jaunt. Even if it's just somewhere nearby, just get out of your, your house, your normal surroundings. Um, it's amazing what just leaving your house as a couple can do. Um, even, if, even if it's just up at the hotel up the street, you know, you can go sit by the pool, pretend you're on vacation, whatever, and, and it just feels like a vacation. Just uh, create your own ambiance that way or have nice dinners have date nights things like that but i see you uh may and june libra you're taking control using your wisdom you are uh turning any situations around that you don't like you're going to be you know and some of these may require a lot of elbow grease a lot of uh focus determination um but you are going to uh be victorious uh, in, in whatever you undertake. So try not to take on everything and try to change everything at once. It would probably be best to focus on one thing instead of like, I'm going to take all of these things and turn them all around. But, um, yeah, on the relationship front, you single Libras, um, you may be playing the field in the summertime, kind of seeing several people. Um, just be honest and upfront if you're doing that. Make sure that everybody knows that, you know, hey, I'm dating around. I am seeing more than one person. Don't act like you're exclusive, Libra. I know you're all ruled by Venus and you're all hot stuff and all that, but come on. Be, treat people well or it'll come back to bite you. I know you're gorgeous, whatever, but just make sure that these poor people know, you know, I'm in demand. There's, there's a couple other people. That's where I had to take a bit of a beverage break there. Let's move on to July to December. The theme for July to December is again, partnership. This can be personal or business, um, but it's how you uh, communicate, how you advise people. Some of you may be in an advisory capacity in your job that may be, do, be part of what you do for a living. Um, so it, that could be your focus uh, and changing that in some way. Maybe somebody, if that's your job, maybe somebody complains about the way you advise them or the advice that you gave them if you're a lawyer, um, you know, uh, and you maybe add something or, or, or change the way that you do things on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of you may be seeking advice about a relationship in particular, a personal relationship that you want to, maybe you're not sure what you want to do. Maybe you're not sure if you want to commit to one person, because again, we saw you earlier, maybe uh, playing the field. Um, it could be that you're seeking advice and trying to decide the second half of the year if you want to get exclusive with somebody. If you have to ask advice though, maybe, maybe none of those people are the right person. You kind of sort of know, you know, you just kind of feel it when it's the right person. Libra. Some of you for a business partnership, you may be looking to start up a business. You may be partnering up with somebody and getting legal advice about that. Like what needs to be done? What's the best way tax wise to do this? Do we need to be an LLC, a corporation? Those kinds of questions. You may be, um, that may be a focus the second half of the year if you're setting up your own uh, business. Um, so you may be focused on getting all that stuff ironed out. 
Uh, rely on other people, Libra. You don't always ask for help. And I think in the second half of the year, the rooms really want you, especially when it comes to new beginnings and all these things starting up in your life. You know, if, you, if it's something you've never done, if it's new to you, new territory to you, seek out uh, experts. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Nobody expects you to know everything about everything except you. You know, we, we all have areas of expertise. None of us are an expert on everything, no matter how much we may think we are. So get help, ask for help. You know, you, you'll get it. There, there are plenty of people in your sphere. You know a lot of smart people, a lot of knowledgeable people who will be able to help you. My cat wanted to join us. So yeah, definitely open up. Don't feel like it's, it admits weakness to ask for help or advice, Libra because you're going to be better off if you do that the second half of the year that rather than going it alone you might muck some things up that could have just been done right to start with the help you're going to receive is is that you're going to know what opportunities to pass up the second half of the year libra and i think that you know this has to do with personal and business stuff uh for both of you you know um if it's a wrong fit, you're just gonna kind of know that, you're gonna feel it. Um, and anything being hidden from you about those sorts of situations will come out in time. So if it's like, oh, maybe there is an opportunity here and, and uh, but there's, they're hiding something from you, like a, if it's a company that you are considering working for and they're hiding something from you about the package or the compensation or something, that will come out in enough time for you or you'll find out about it in enough time to avoid making a bad decision. And any opportunity that you allow to pass by is probably for the best. Um, you know, don't, don't regret anything that you maybe feel you don't move on quickly enough. Because again, I think that things are hidden from you that you, um, that would have changed your mind anyway. Uh, what you can kind of count on from June to December, what can't, I mean, sorry, from July to December, what can't be changed in 2014 is that these shifts and changes that are happening, you know, whether it's in career and personal or both are uh, all leading to a unification. So, I mean, it could be that you are going to find a job you're going to be in for a really long time or starting a business that's going to be kind of it for you. And also maybe meeting the person, a lot of you this year, that are going to be, um, it's going to be in your, in your life for a long time to come, maybe, maybe forever, hopefully forever. That's what we all want, isn't it? Um, for a lot of you, I think that's going to come to pass. So it's like the two areas, the most important areas of your life coming together and unifying. And I think you're going to feel that in the air. You're going to feel that energy, especially the second half of the year, Libra. It's going to be a very good year for you. While as the first may be a little chaotic with, with things that are going to block all of these new great things come, from coming in, those things are going to be stripped away. And while that may be a little difficult, if it's things that you weren't really sure if you wanted stripped away, um, you'll see what the reason is by the second half of the year. Yeah, there's going to, you know, and this is going to crop up again. It's going to be like one final test at the end of the year next year, Libra. Are you willing to give up what it no longer serves you in order to get, in order to move forward, in order to move into a, a much more satisfying future, the future that you deserve to have, the one that you want to have? Um, so it's like you, you have a, a decision to make that can affect, um, you know, either going back and repeating some stuff that you've already been through or completely moving forward at the end of the year and moving into this um, new phase with gusto and not looking back at the past, not holding on to the past. It's time to let that go. But, you know, I think you will face one more choice there at the end of the year, Libra, to go back or to move forward. Just remember, moving forward is going to serve you. Um, it's going to make you happier than going back um there's a reason that most of that was stripped away so if there's anything remaining at the end of the year just leave the past in the past um some of you may be concerned about mother or a, a mother figure that your parents uh one of your parents or both of your parents may be having some health problems that may be something else that you're dealing with at the end of the year and um 
and just maybe they're trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe uh, they can't get a straight answer from the doctors. Or the doctors can't find maybe what's going on with them. So um, you may need to be there for your parents at the end of the year, um, help them through a difficult time where they're just kind of dealing with some worries. Um, you know, I don't think for all of you it's going to turn out to be, uh, you know, a bad thing with your parents, but, um, you know, some of you, it, it may turn out to be nothing. It's just they can't pinpoint what's wrong, so there's a lot of worry, and I, I think your parents are going to need you towards the end of the year um, to be there for them to kind of maybe take care of things around the house, that sort of thing, while, uh, while they get some rest and recuperate. Um, some, some will be getting some, uh, health procedures, I think, operations, things like that. Um, they'll need to. Um, some, one of them may need something and they don't want to get it. So, so it's like, it may be a surgery that's needed and they don't want to go under the knife and they're trying to get out of it. You may need to, you know, tell them, Hey, you have to do this or you're not going to get better. You may have to kind of be there and, and, and talk them into that. So just a heads up there. Um, there may also be a trip for you on, uh, at the end of the year. If it's not going home to visit your family, that, that may be it for some of you for the holidays. But for others, this may be um, somewhere that you've been before that you wanted to return to. Um, it, for some of you, it may come up as a work-related trip. And it may, it may be something that you're dreading or it may just be an, an inopportune time. Like maybe it pops up like right before the holidays or around the holidays and you have to go for work. But it will end up being actually a very fun trip. So keep that in mind if you got a work trip coming up at the end of the year, Libra. I think it's actually going to be fun. Um, so that's what I see for 2014. I hope that was helpful. Uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of kind of heavy stuff. But I mean, it's not anything you can't handle, Libra. Good luck with that. And I will see you again in February.